So yesterday EA went and dropped an EVO dropping EVO cards almost as good as promo cards for a fraction of the cost and it is dropping the market. On top of that we're going to be talking about everything that's happened in the last 24 hours with a bunch of different investments. But before we do start, if you guys are interested, I do offer a daily subscriber training guide over on my Twitch. To get that, all you got to do is click on the top link and you can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime. If not, it's £5, five euros, or $6. In there, you'll get yourself daily updated investment guides, daily updated data to help you with silver trading, daily updated to help you with shadow trading. And one of our recent investments has done very well. That is the likes of a ratio who we recommended only last Wednesday for 750k, which would have been a very, uh, I guess, very viable price. Uh, and he's gone from 750k all the way up to 900k. So again, another successful investment on the guide. So without further ado, let's go and talk about the content we got in the last 24 hours. So it's very weird because going into 6 p.m. yesterday, not much actually got leaked. Like they didn't officially leak that we're going to get the Hero SBC. They didn't really leak that we're going to go and get ourselves. The, uh, the Evo. Um, so yeah, but we went and obviously got that content. We went and got ourselves the base hero. And it was very interesting. It only required an 85 rated squad. It required an 86 rated squad. Well, that was really weird because the last time they left a hero, gave us a hero SPC, they gave us a max 88. And it was an 85, an 86, and an 84. So they've increased it, but they've made it cheaper. And here's the even weirder thing. They did the same thing last year. They gave us a base hero SBC, although it did come two weeks down the, you know, two weeks later than we had now, and they made it way cheaper than the previous one. So the one that's going to come out today, uh, I think, is only costing 160, whereas the one they dropped, which was literally a worse one, cost 200. Now in previous years, it actually crashed the market due to this, but the market didn't really crash too much uh, yesterday. It did drop, but it didn't really crash. Uh, again, this is also really weird because the previous Icon SBC was over two, only 200k. The one released after that was almost double in price. So it's crazy that we've gone from, you know, the Icon SBCs being double in price to the Hero SBCs being better, but, you know, a third cheaper. Well, again, what did that go and do to the likes of Fodder? Well, we saw a rise on Fodder. We saw 84s, and they went from 3k up there to 3.4k. We saw 85s, and they went from 6.1 up to 7k. We saw 86s, and 86s already yesterday, uh, they went from 11k up there to around about 12k, uh, and is that what she wrote? And then we got 87s, 87s went from 14k up there to 15.5. So my recommendations for investments were 84s, 5s and 6s, and it seems like they've had the, um, well, subjective, I guess, when you bought them, had some of the highest return investments, with a slight rise also on 87s. How did the team week fodder do? It did okay. Uh, we were picking up Williams for around about 17 last night. Uh, I'm not quite sure actually if that's going to be uh, I think it might have been Gwyn I think Gwyn might have been the uh, easier one to go and pick up at 17 there we go if we can go Owly yes Saturday there you go 17k there wouldn't have been too hard right there and 17 all morning so we're picking this woman up for 17 and she's already gone up to 19k so a nice success there with uh, some of the informs uh, discard informs how did they do again we're buying these Saturday night for around about 10.5 they're already up to 12k we've got to basically Wednesday after 6pm on these Regarding the rest of the fodder, I do have a YouTube video on my tutorial channel teaching you guys about the weekly cycle you're going to see with fodder to help you guys with investment. But nonetheless, the uh, general rule of thumb is you're going to sell anything above an 84 after Tuesday 6pm content, and anything uh, under an 84 we're going to gamble on being needed till Wednesday. So that is the uh, the investments. Upcoming SBCs, we've got Putella's POTM coming at 5pm today, and then all the other player SBCs are not leaked so far, which is interesting. Now, um... Before I talk about the negative market impact of how the how the market reacts with the Hero SBC, we talk a little bit about the Evo because it's actually quite interesting. Now, this Evo is semi-comparable to if you guys remember the Marcus Lorenzo Evo we got last year, where um, you basically Evo this kind and it got into a Centurions one. Again, I don't think it's showing us Evos from last year, but yeah, if you guys have played FIFA last year, you'll be very familiar with the uh, Marcus Lorente Evo. And what that Evo actually did is it crashed the market. And the reason it crashed the market is because it was 150k Evo, but it pro it basically created Evos way, way, way like ability-wise in excess of what they would have been if they were a promo card. What I mean by that is they gave Lorente such a big upgrade. If he was a promo card, that would have been 500k, but it was only 150k Evo. And funny enough, we kind of actually saw this happen with yesterday's Evo. Now, we didn't see the market crash as much, but what we saw is we saw kind of like Evo cards outperforming, if you know, or Evo cards being really good value for money in comparison to if they're on the market. And the reason we can kind of prove this is quite a lot of the cards, um, quite a lot of the cards actually end up having uh, better cards than, you know, very similar cards to previous promo cards, 
but are only a portion of the price. For example, Rafinha uh, is coming in only here at 100k. Now, I do think his inform card is better. I'm not, I'm not one of these people who drops the most brain dead comparisons going. But, you know, on the card, you are getting... There's, the only difference between it is you're getting two less pace, two less dribbling, but you're getting three more shooting, uh, three more physicality. I will say, though, this card can obviously be given a power shot plus in uh, the power shot Evo, whereas this one gets press proven. Press proven, I actually have on my, uh, if I'm not wrong, my small who I have as my uh, winger. So press proven is actually really, really nice for an attacker because obviously, you know, it helps them shield the ball a bit more and, you know, especially when you're backed up against centre backs, full backs, and whatever. It's actually quite nice to go and use when you're holding, I believe it's LB, RB, something like that. Uh, other cards that are quite comparable to other promo cards, Loft is cheek. Obviously, this card does not go and get upgraded, but. I'd say it's a better card than the likes of this card right here. Now, getting press proven on the midfield is definitely not too bad to uh, have, especially if they're a little bit slow on the turn, uh, you know, more likely to get intercepted. But he's coming in with more pace, more shooting, more passing, same dribbling. He does have lower defending and lower physicality, but again, this card is coming in at half the price that one is. I don't think this Loftus Cheek can even get upgraded this week, or is, I don't think he's even favourable to get upgraded. So again, a really nice value for money card compared to the promo. And Cuckoo obviously doesn't have a promo card, but not too bad. Uh, the only problem for him is he. we do have the Routier Evo for Bellingham, which gives it a very comparable card. But yeah, not a bad card there on uh, in Cuckoo. We then move to Hakimi, receiving no pace upgrade, but again, upgrades absolutely everywhere. Press proven on a fullback, unless you're going to be very offensive with the cards, which you probably could be with 85 dribbling and 83 pace. I don't think press proven is the best defensive play style, but you know, offensively it's not too bad. But um, yeah, I mean, even Lorente right there, you know, we can compare this to this card right here. Obviously, he's got two more pace there, but here he's got a play style. He doesn't have any play style plus there. Um, you know, he's got himself one more shooting, four more passing, one less dribbling. He's got two less, uh, sorry, one more dribbling, two less uh, defending and three less physical. So again, for a card that's almost a third of the price of this one, you can see why the market was dropping yesterday because it's just creating good value for money Evos, despite being a 100k Evo. Uh, and I think that kind of uh, wraps up a lot of comparisons. I mean, Camavinga ends up with a very nice card. It'd be, it'd be hard to believe that, I mean, this would literally end up being like a second informal Camavinga, if not even a third informal. So it'd be very hard to believe a promo Camavinga would be any cheaper than 100k. So once again, creating some nice cards. And press proof, I do think, is pretty nice on the CDMs. Uh, is that all we have for the comparisons? Yeah. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about how did the market react? Because obviously you've got Hero SBC and people have you know, sold stuff to go and do the Hero SBC. People are replacing players in their team because of the Hero SBC. And then we've got this Evo, which again is creating good value for money promo cards, which as a result, you know, someone might be like, oh, why would I want to go and keep a, a Rush Zyamri when I can go and get a Camavinga? So let's have a little look how the market reacted. Now, I do think it's actually really good to go and invest in this sort of market drop because we were kind of back to seeing the cycle we saw last year. The cycle we saw last year was cards would be the cheapest on the Sunday after the Hero slash Icon pack and Weekend League sell-off, and then the market would be slowly progressive from the Sunday all the way through to the Thursday evening Friday. So I do think this is the low point in the market, and I do think it is now going to rebound for cards that impacts to a Wednesday afternoon, cards that are out of packs to a Thursday uh, evening, cards that are in packs will basically peak Wednesday afternoon, then they'll go down Thursday morning with Div Rivals, and then they'll go and peak at... Um, yeah, Thursday evening slash Friday midday. So some of the cards I did recommend as the best investments are cards that, you know, have been very progressive in the last like three, four days. So for example, Bastoni is a really nice example of this. Bastoni went from about 330 up to almost 400k. So I thought, you know what, this is a nicely in demand card. We look yesterday, again, we know he went up to 390. Even yesterday went up to 395. So we recommended buying this guy, I think it was around about 370k. Uh, you've also got cards like Duran. I'll be honest with you though, Duran didn't even drop yesterday, which is kind of crazy, but again, a card favoured to keep rising till Thursday. Pusic, we can see, dropped a little bit there. Um, obviously, it was fluctuating a little bit all over the shop, but up to about 330s, 340s, but yesterday he went and dropped under 200, sorry, 230s, 240s, but he dropped a little bit there. Again, Hemp, another card that's been very progressive, but dropped a little bit last night, so we went and picked up a few of her for 49k. Adi Yemi, again, a card that's been very progressive. You can see right here, he's went 63, up there to 96. Well, Auli yesterday, we can see he went under 90. And again, these cards are only favourite to be more next week. Other cards, Verts. Verts, again, very progressive, been using SBCs. Got up there to 193. Well, yesterday, we were picking this guy up for about 170. Since he is back up to 175, which isn't too bad. On top of that, we also went and picked up some gold meta cards. Last week, uh, I can show you that we saw this trend. We saw the trend last week that the market absolutely crashed on the Sunday. Let me take the PC. 
crashed on the Sunday. Then we saw a rebound Sunday all the way through to Tuesday afternoon. Uh, even Wednesday midday wasn't too bad there, but yeah, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday off evening. So I was saying sort of thing, this week we can see the market crash there on the Sunday. We recommend it going by the likes of uh, Saliba up to 120. And since he is only low 120s, but I mean, if we go and look at it last week, they were, you know, you had to be patient with the cards. You weren't getting insane rises on the Monday. You just kind of had to be patient. They were you know, overly progressive for uh, the next few days. Nico Williams, again, I can show you the same trend last week. We can see Sunday went down from 35 down to 26 and progressively rebounded to 37. Yes, they went down to 19, so we recommended buying at 19.5. Today, he has already rebounded up to 22k, which is nice. Uh, Griezmann, and again, I, I won't bore you. You get the gist. The cards drop on the Sunday. They're now going to rise all the way through Tuesday evening, uh, if not Wednesday uh, midday. And then they start getting panic sold due to being in packs. That's very interesting as well because... We don't, actually don't really have anything leaked. Uh, now, we've got some Team of the Week predictions. I mean, I can probably go over to Footwiz. Uh, now, if you guys are ever interested in... Footwiz, are they not dropped their Team of the Week prediction? Wow, crazy. Well, uh, I can give you a few, I guess, Team of the Week players I expect to go and be in the Team of the Week. Uh, and, you know, again, you can pick some of these up as investments. We've got the likes of Komen. Komen got himself one goal, one assist. So not too bad. The only problem is, I think I only recommended him really as a buy up to 3.1. Still buyable on PC, but, you know, snipes and bids on uh, on console. Another card who is, you know, favored to go and get a team of the week is Gokarez. Although I can never spell Gokarez. So you're just going to have to play him. Gokarez is on your screen. Uh, Gokarez, again, at 3.2 or 3k is not a bad investment as he's SBC fodder. But actually an interesting uh, thing about Gokarez is... Can I, I'm not going to be able to find any of them, am I? There we go. Uh, sometimes with the minor league players, if they are hyper-demanded, you can actually see link investments do well. Again, I consistently have people going, oh, should I go and buy, you know, um, Van Dyke to go and link up Rush Sala and stuff like that. And I go, you don't link invest promo cards. That You know, link invest in promo cards just doesn't work. Link invest in Team of the Week just doesn't work. The only players that work as link investments are SBC players, objective players on the rare occasion they're demanded, and off-league, well-demanded players. Well, Gokrez is one of these rare times when actually you can link a promo card because there's so much hype around this Gokrez card that he could actually do uh, potentially quite well. Yeah, not the worst uh, price to go and buy him as, uh, as fodder comes. So yeah, the likes of Goncalo, um, I don't mind buying him. I think it's up to 12K. So again, the problem is he is a bit inflated already. But up to 12K wouldn't be too bad because people might want to go and try that Goncalo, sorry, the uh, Gokrez in their team. Uh, and I think apart from that, there was... A left back from Genoa, who's an 80 rated non rare who could do quite well. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think there's anything too insane. I did see some shouts, uh, and I still need to, to research this a bit more, that Lawrence might make the team week. Definitely wouldn't be a bad pack, uh, bad card out of packs. I also saw shouts of Una Battaglia potentially going out of packs. Once again, wouldn't be a bad card to go and buy out of packs. I do need to do a little bit more research on them uh, nonetheless. But I think that's going to go and wrap it up. As I say, we think the market will now go and rise going into Thursday afternoon. So. I'm going to be more than happy to uh, do loads and loads of Icon training between now and Thursday because when you're you know, trading with big cards like Icons, Heroes or whatever uh, in a progressive market, which is a market that's rising each day, it's really, really nice. We've been trading in a regressive market, which is kind of Friday to Sunday, not so nice. So uh, yeah, it can be very, very nice. It's going to be uh, trading with Icons um, yeah, all week, basically. But today's tutorial video, apparently... There is a um, apparently there is a bug with this objective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see if I can work out the bug with this objective. Apparently you don't actually have to go and play the games, and all you got to do is jump in the game and then back out, which allows you to go and farm loads of packs. So uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and research that, and uh, you potentially have a tutorial to go and get yourself all of these packs in probably about 10 minutes. So thank you very much for watching, and again that's on the tutorial channel, second link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.